welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started heavenly father i come before you humble give me your thanks and give me your praise holy spirit i ask that you word my mouth in the mighty name of jesus i command that the flesh have a seat right now in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit i ask that you touch the people ears to hear and the heart to receive your word oh god in the mighty name of jesus and Lord God, my prayers, O oh God, that your people will not believe everything that they see nor hear, O oh God. It doesn't matter who it is, O oh God. You have no respectable persons, O oh God. So Lord God, my prayers, O oh God, they will take things back to you, O oh God. And see what you have to say about a thing or a situation, O oh God. Because they may hear it one way, O oh God, but you may have a different word for them, O oh God. And if someone is watching that doesn't know you, my prayers for their salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. With that being said, if there's anything about this channel that you like, please subscribe. If it's anything about this video that, video that you like, even if it's confirmation, whatever it is positive, hit the like button. With that being said, let's move on. I come to share with you a word God gave me. When I was in prayer the other morning, God showed me in a vision of, he showed me the cross in a vision. I heard in the spirit, there's more to the cross. Then I saw Jesus on the cross in this vision. After that, I saw a cross without Jesus on it. They were like side by side. Then I heard surrender. Jesus surrendered to his father when he was nailed to the cross. Before that, Jesus went to the father. He prayed. He prayed, if this cup could pass me, Father, let it pass me. But if not, yet and still, you, let your will be done. Jesus ended up, that's what he prayed, but he ended up surrendering when he was nailed to the cross. So Jesus honored his Father's will concerning his life. The same thing we should be doing. We should surrender everything to Jesus for what he has done for us, for what he did for us, and what he continued to do for us, we should be in total surrender unto him. Arms stretched wide in total surrender. On that cross, when his arms were stretched wide, Jesus was in total surrender to the Father. Then after that, there was the cross that was empty. The cross that have no Jesus on it, that cross. That cross is for us to surrender to his son, for us to surrender to Jesus Christ. That cross is a reminder to surrender to his son. A lot of people walk around with that cross just to have it on. And that cross is for them, a reminder for them to total surrender. A reminder, have you total surrendered to Jesus yet? with our arms stretched wide surrendering everything to him total surrender everything to jesus he's worthy of it for what he has done for us and for what he's still doing for us we should be in total surrender to jesus christ we shouldn't want our life he said if we want our life if we want to keep our life we will lose our life but if we give up our life, if we want, if we desire to lose our life for his sake, for Jesus Christ, then we will have our life. We will have it forever in him because he was a sacrifice for our sins and sins of the world. And that's all he asked is to total surrender, give our life to him, surrender our life to him like he surrendered his life to the father. We have to follow in his footsteps. He's the blueprint to get into heaven. So if we stand and we totally surrender ourselves unto him, we'll be in the same position that Jesus was in on the cross. The only difference is we're not Jesus. We could never, ever go through what he went through for us and for our sins, the nails, the nails is our persecution. So every time we as Christians, we go through it. Because, oh, we're going to be persecuted. We haven't seen nothing yet. But every time we go through persecution, 
the persecution, those are our nails. So we have to continue to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. We can't stop because of the persecution because he didn't stop. He saw this thing all the way through to the end. And he's the blueprint and we must do the same thing. We must total surrender to Jesus Christ. God said the only way to him, to the Father, is through his Son. So we must look at that cross, the cross that he's no longer on. That cross that people is wearing around their neck because he defeated death. And that cross is a reminder. Have we surrendered unto Jesus Christ? Have we surrendered to God's only son? But every time we are persecuted, we as Christians to think of that, th those nails that Jesus, that went through his hands and went through his feet and they pierced him on the side. We think of those things that happened to him. We think of the beating that he had to endure. Think of the blood that he shed. Before the cross when they beat him and after the cross when they pierced him on the side and they nailed his hands to the cross. And these wasn't baby nails. It was huge nails that they nailed him to the cross with. Think of that. And we ask him to give us the strength to endure. God is saying it's more to the cross. He told me, and I did a video a few weeks back, to know the cross like me. We don't know the cross like God, but he wants us to know the cross like him. The cross is important to him. The cross is important to us as Christians. Because it symbolizes what Jesus did for us on the cross, even before the cross. God is not going to let us forget. And he shouldn't. Because that plays a, an important part to where we at today. If it wasn't for the cross, where would we be today? Because we wouldn't be able to keep the law. So by us not being able to keep the law, we would be in hell. Because we can't keep the law. So he sent the son to be a sacrifice for our sins. And sins of the world. And the things that his son had to endure. And at the end, his son surrendered to him. Jesus even had his doubts. Father, if this cup could pass me, let it pass me. But yet and still, let your will be done. Sometimes we don't feel like serving God. Sometimes some people, some people out there don't want to hear about Jesus. They don't want to surrender all. But I pray yet and still, God's will be done in those people's lives. Matthew 27 50. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. He total surrendered. That's what the father want us to do to his son. Total surrender. Not only for the people that have not received him. It's a lot of Christians walking around here doing what they want to do. And God is saying, remember the cross that his son is no longer on and total surrender to his son. 